I feel like an outsider would just see it as someone rolling on a piece of wood, but someone who actually skates sees it as like an art. Skateboarding is a sport that thrives on originality, expression, and landing never-before-seen tricks. There are many reasons people get into a hobby, but with skateboarding, the appeal goes a bit deeper than just wanting some exercise. My name is Tyler Bartley, and I've been skating for five months. My name is Nathan Wan, and I've been skateboarding for a year now. I'm Andres Rios, and I've been skateboarding for about 10 years. Uh, yeah, my name is Erwin Anzola, and um, I started skateboarding when I was probably eight and uh, I did it, actually I have never stopped, and uh, probably it's been like 30 years since I've been skateboarding. Favorite trick is the shove it or the pop shove it. You know, it's an easy trick and it just looks easy. Favorite trick would have to be a boneless. It was the first trick I learned, and I don't know, there's something nice about it. It feels smooth when you like land it. Say that I've always been uh, doing ollies. I was uh, very good at it. I usually my highest one was uh, jumping six skateboards. By the time we would measure six or five, we put it in stacks. But behind the grind, there's a cultural phenomenon that has evolved throughout the decades. But it didn't happen overnight. Skateboards were originally no more than a block of wood glued to some roller skate wheels that evolved from surfers wanting to surf when there were no waves around. Then the actual device started to get more developed. Better wheels and board materials meant skaters had the opportunity to do more than just ride it around. They could do tricks. Tricks that would soon become video hits. In 1984, Paolo Peralta began turning this hobby into a viral sensation through a series of VHS tapes. Now this is a skateboard. Skateboarding had started to garner new media attention, making way for people to see and start the sport just like surfing did before. In 1995, it saw the first X Games and brought massive attention, cementing skateboarding as an official sport. Elbows and knees, to throw them into a half pipe in any number of... That was like the totally breakthrough for skateboarding not to be anymore like something that, oh, you skate doing on the streets and making it bigger than ever. I remember when I saw the first X Games, I said, oh, wow, finally something like, I would love to go there. Through the 90s and the 2000s, people began to skate just about everywhere with the rise of street skating, the most raw and grunge light the sport had ever seen. And with that grew its mass appeal. Tony Hawk, Dick Cavallero, Lance Mountain, they all started getting like in the mainstream, like not only as like, oh, the skateboard, like stars. I was just on the DVR, just watching like a bunch of different like channels and stuff. And I found like this skating video by Tony Hawk and it kind of like inspired me. I was like, yo, that looks dope as fuck. Skateboarding was no longer underground. It was mainstream. And today is a part of pop culture. Outsiders would definitely think that we're just a bunch of rebels, vandalizing, etc. And why do you think that is? Because we kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter what you do. It's not like uh, it's because of skateboard, that's all oh, that can happen to you. Or if I have my kid and I don't want to skateboard, I'm going to say, oh no, you don't want to go there. Because I mean, you can teach everybody uh, and say what is good and what is bad and what are you going to do good for your sport? You know, the reputation for skating is, you know, looked down upon because, you know, these older people, they all they see from it is just vandalism, breaking things, you know, just kids like, uh, just going around, just being bad, you know? And uh, personally, I don't think that's the case. You know, I, I see people in the skate park all the time with their, with their moms and dads and the little kids are just skating, they're doing what they're doing and their parents skated when they were little and they learned the good from it and teach their kids that. So I think in this generation, it's really, it's becoming in a good light. 
The appeal for skateboarding is definitely like what got me into it was the aesthetic, the vibe, and also it's just a really fun sport to do. It was on my Instagram discovery page. I liked the look of it. I liked the tricks. It looked cool. And I realized that's just something I have to do. I feel like in the future, people are just going to keep on creating new more tricks and it's going to be like really fun in the future. Skateboarding is a gateway. It's something to free yourself from whatever, whether you want to use it as a sport, a hobby, whatever you want, really. That's, that's what skating is. It's whatever you want it to be. No matter who you are or where you're from, it's clear to see if these skaters see more than just a board on wheels. All in all, I think skateboarding is, you know, just a sport that I do on the side. It's a hobby. It's something that I like to do occasionally. Skateboarding is just a way to have fun with my friends, and it's just a way to have fun. Skateboarding is all about trial and error. You get back up, you keep doing it. It's just like life. It's just freedom. Oh, oh, oh.